builds. A lot of them were so so crazi. You remember like you love them. Ti four. I think he went like it was like some ridiculous thing on Shadowfiend. I think it was like Scotty or something like that at the time, and everyone was like, "What?" It was like some item he built that everybody was like, "This is crazy." But I loved his builds. I think saying you love them is an unpopular opinion. Yeah. Was T Ping and Toppy does have the bottle. Meanwhile, they're jumping in. Uh, you're right. The bottle's up. Trixie getting ganked. He's gonna go down. Garter gets first blood, and just that rotation alone, they're probably gonna get two kills out of this. They can give him a double kill, and they will. Garter getting on the board. Great rotation from the aisle after getting his bottle, and all of a sudden that top lane. He's but, uh, still doing a very good job of harassing. He's not like missing out on CS. Right. Ursa's still sitting at 250 health now. No region. Trying to fly some out now. So he's still doing fine. So got the more mess queued up for the quick buy. Once it gets there, it'll be pretty good. Rotation and coming in from the IO, come with me. They're going to try to make a go here on Quigfa. The TP in right now. They can just hold Embrace. One more auto attack, though. TP's too late for Hani. And now he's going to get caught. Flame Guard coming out. There's the Splinter Blast. The Ace Room's still going to work. Now there's the Searing Chains that actually hits. And Nike, very fire. The tower last hit. The overpower will work out. Oh and it God. will. He lives with like 30 HP. <laughs> but. Now, we'll see if it even gets picked up this game. But we're back into the game. The internet has been fixed for whatever player was having the issues. Might have been Koikva, I think, actually. It looks like it was. But hopefully, everything seems to be good. Get back into the game, and looking at the way this game is going, Garter's starting to get some more room. He's second in that worth right now. And uh, they're looking for Trixie in the jungle, and Sanya is going to just find him here with the Telkinesis momentarily. Dual Breath comes out, doesn't really do much, and then Telkinese is coming out with the overpower on top of the Fury Swipes. Garter's able to find another big kill, sitting at 3 0 0, and continuing to get some good CS here. To make him move on bottom. Fury, Cheshire Cat TP. Good Fire Blast to stop, and should be a kill. TP was canceled, one more auto attack, and Eric gets it. What was that yeah, like? Trixie thing immediately, that uh. What was that? So weird. After the kill. That was the uh, the crit, right? Was it? Like where the dragon came out? Oh yeah. Huh. He, he doesn't really want to get involved too early on. I think he might be building Midas, considering the fact that he's 1300 gold and close to Yeah, definitely Midas. Midas. So. Oh, dude, he's one of those heroes where uh, I'm stamping on bottom, but Aerith still gets the solo kill. Oh man, I saw it coming. I didn't, I didn't switch quick enough. But you probably all know what happened. Yeah, Omni Slash came out. Damn, he just died twice in a row. That's Trixie. Trixie getting set up on top. I think this is maybe a death for Hani. He has Golden Brace, he does. Might keep him alive for a little bit. Now Overpower is done. Fury Swift's not doing enough. There's going to be Enraged, though, and Garter and the Fade will come out, and that's just more than enough to get the kill. He can't even rotate again. Here comes the Remnant jump. Be too concerned. There's the Fire Blast coming out. They should have the Enraged back up, and they do. Era doesn't have Omni Slash. 10 seconds. Stampede will come Stampede. through. Earth Shock, and he actually avoids the Boogie. He does not. The slow comes through. He'll fall. Fable. Blade Fury. Rage is still up for Garter, so he might be sitting for Omni Slash. There it is now. Era's going to pop it, but a lot of that damage mitigated by the Enrage of Sanya. But here comes Koifa. Some orbs coming out. Now he's looking for the Iowa as well. He should get both of these kills. Sandy's comes out. Koifa gets the double. Three heroes dead. The rotation is perfect. And the Outworld Devour comes out. Get some big kills top lane. And that's with just brown boots and a Midas. This guy's no D to come rotating it as well. No. I mean, they got some kills at least. They got air down. They got a couple of other big kills there. But they're losing the tower. Boogie actually avoiding the earth shock. Now they're chasing on top. after that. Relo kid in as well. And they have the searing chains. Mike cleans it up. So even with that OD getting those kills, they need to leave now. Trixie's TP should be successful. Boogie will die. So two heroes go down after they take that tier one tower. They relocate back mid. Macropire drops down, but Era can't really do anything at all. Yeah, they weren't either, apparently. Oh, Cheshire Cat's solo bottom. Is Era gonna find them? He does have the stampede, though. Yeah, no Omni Slash either. If Era has that, they get the kill. Meanwhile, mid lane, Telkis. Man, Trixie's having kind of a rough game. Yeah, he's wishing he had a respawn. Action happening. Uh, Insignia down bottom needs to be very careful. Coming in also is going to be Garter. They're going to leave Era alone. They're heading to a different lane, and Era now has to oh face God, the mask. Relocate. Blade Fury coming out. It's just the Iowa at this point. They can still get this kill. He tries to head into the tree line. He's still going to get caught with Telkinesis. Hani comes in too late. If he was there with the Warner's Curse earlier on. That's probably a better engagement, but unfortunately, it's not the case. Relocate back out, but now they leave Insania as well as Garter. They're going to chase after one of them. They can't maybe even get either. As the Iowa's coming back in, they have the Warner's Curse ready, but he's staying pretty far apart here. Garter's still chasing out Koikva. Can't really afford to die. Good cold embrace coming through. They need some more heroes down bottom, but in fact, it's another pro Dota player coming in. 
Now Garter getting low. Sanity's comes out. Quickfoot will get the kills. Now he actually Astros himself to keep him alive. Winner's Curse goes. Blade Fury stolen. Boogie needs one more auto attack. They will lose Quickfoot in the end. Boogie, bloodlusting himself. Can he find both of these? He might not be able to find either. Spell stolen. It's bloodlust. And Mika comes up and cleans the house again. Splinter Blast and Sanya's still alive. Eric coming in. He's got the Omni Slash. But Mika should have remnant up in about two seconds here. Telkinesis. Eric cannot continue to chase. And all of a sudden, Pro Dota win yet another fight, it looks like. These fights start so awkwardly, you know? Like, uh... Eric is obviously pushing in. He feels safe. His teammates are relatively close by. Ember Spirit on the mid lane, though. Yeah. Goodbye, Trixie. Again. Yep, he's just a poor little dragon trying to farm his mech. That's not happening. No, not, not anytime. Well, actually, is he close to the recipe? He somehow has almost his recipe, despite dying yeah, five times. Yeah, he's quite close. Okay. You're right, though. When I think of these fights, I think of awkwardness at its, at its extreme. Right, it just feels like they're just kind of trickling in one by one, not really ready to fight. And then a fight breaks out, so like, shit, we gotta help, and they all kind of, you know, get there as fast as they can. Yeah, like, Hani was back. Oh, by the way, Rose is dead. Goodbye. They're gonna try to go for someone here, maybe on BK. They have a Fire Blast, but he might be able to run it out. The Ice Path is there in time. The Macro Fire. They have the Stampede. He's low, and they will get that kill. It's a huge kill. Relocate save, not in time. Quick power, we're getting caught out. The Spirit's coming through. Cold Embrace, but there's the Winter's Curse. At least he come with me. He's not dead yet. They need one more auto attack, potentially. Ice Path coming out as well. Garter, maybe not the best fight for him right now. Era still has Omni Slash. They're going to pop it as well and get the kill. And Sanya, Astral saving him for now, but still will die to the Blade Fury when he comes out. Garter respawn. No, it's Sanya somehow still alive. But still, they get the stun. They get the dual breath off. Can Garter go down here? Cheshire Cat coming in. Blank stop. Misses completely, but still will get Boogie. Cold Embrace keeps him alive. The IO heal is doing so much work. They want Garter, but they don't want to die for it. Now there's another at least bit of damage coming in. Air trying to manage fight. Gets blown away, though. Garner continuing to chase, and Trixie should fall again here. Somehow, Pro Dota alive. Here comes Cheshire Cat. Mike running back into the fray after respawn and looking for Hani. Hani gets up to the high ground, back down to the low ground. Cheshire Cat has another blink in three, but instead, they're going to go straight for the tower. The tier one will be taken, and that Aegis for Garner was huge. Great heals will come with me all around, and somehow, an amazing turnaround for that fight for Pro Dota. So, Mike died? MIP are not that far off from winning these fights. Winner's Curse. All right, this IO is, is almost I'm certainly sorry, dead. And now they're going to get this kill on Garter as well. He doesn't have Enrage. That was that was an aggressive play that ends up turning into pretty much a feed. And that is a huge kill. Because now they are going to take this Tier 1 Tower on top of it. On top of getting the top network hero in the game dead. Come on, get in there. They do have the mech now for Trixie, so something to keep in mind. Tier 2 Tower still getting hit up. A lot of damage being taken, but I don't know if they're going to continue the push here. Cheshire Cat jumps in. They get the Astral save coming out, which will help out with the relocate coming in as well. This is already not a great fight for NIP. Still, though, quick for going to work, looking for BK. Sanity's comes out. The Splinter Blast will get the kill. They haven't lost anybody other than Trixie yet now on the side of NIP. And Garner will blow away as well. Omni Slash coming out. Blade Gear was stolen, but only for half a second. Air gets a triple kill. All five are suddenly dead somehow. Quick for dropping that Sandy's along with the Omni Slash from Era. They turn that we around are. so quickly. We are walking up the hill. What are these talking about? Yeah, even though uh, Come With Me bought out and um, he was able to turn the mid-fight with the Aegis, it still wasn't that great for them. Oh, nice stampede initiation. Feels sanity, I believe. Yes, he stole sanity's now quick, but in trouble. Cold Embrace. There's the Winter's Curse, however. Cheshire Cat falling to the right click damage to Mika and Garter. Now he has to pop the Enrage Quick, but somehow he's still alive. Searing Chains, Omni Slash keeping up Era alive, and now he's jumping, but it's only level 2 Omni Slash. Sanity's finally dropped, and now it's going to be, looks like, two dead with the Astral coming out. But potentially, no. Mika will survive with his defensive Astral from Insania. So Insania actually making some huge plays in that fight. They lose two, including their two big cores, and now NIP have to back up. Plus they throw. His cap's stolen by Insania, looking for Hani. Still, Boogie's gonna come back in. Looks like he's gonna die. They won't be able to catch him. Meanwhile, Trixie drops the macro pyre. They're coming in. Tether coming out. Cheshire Cat getting low as well. Trixie manning up right now, but it's not enough. The double edge will come through for our drop dead. And Pro Do to turn that fight around with some great Rubik plays in the beginning of that fight. Yeah, great fight from Pro Dota. They were able to initiate right on top of the he's happening. Maybe not. He's in behind the tree too down. Still jump on him. He just used. Oh, this is it. So I'm pretty sure this is a dead hero. Yeah. See you later. Oh God. He's dead for a long time. They actually might go to hit the 
tower after this. Yeah. 55 seconds, he actually used his buy bag in the the knight they need to be, again, very careful with their position here. Vika is already jumping back in slightly for the Searing Chase, but they're not really making any initiation with it. Trying they're to trying snipe to the orb. Back. Another Hurricane Plight, oh. Garter getting bombed from the orb at this point. Garter's still alive, Pops being raped. Blade Fury with the Cold Embrace at the same time, which is one of the most interesting things I've ever seen. Fuji jumps in, Ice Cap, Sandy's Eclipse, can they bring these heroes down? Garner is so low, the Remnant back from Mikke, but the fourth four from Koikva, they'll get one, they'll get two, they will get three, it looks like. Mikke forced to buy back. Now they get the Ultra Kill, given the Rampage, no, the Golden Brace, they want to keep him alive. Come on, Koikva, I believe you, you can do this, hit him. No. 112 intelligence stolen on OD right now. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an insane amount of damage. That's actually yeah, they are going to clean up here, though. Like, oh, maybe they actually can. Like, so, so turn around, hit some people. It's going to do some serious work. You're down to 100 now, you're losing it. Double Edge will bring down Trixie, it looks like. And here comes Tani with the uh, Arctic Burn. With three dead now, this is going to be surely a set of racks and maybe perhaps a game here, Rax. I've never seen that much OD intelligence stolen before, and this is like without... Trixie Garter jumping in, Booty cold and braced up, good stop though. On to Hani, he has his Winter's Curse ready if he could use it. He's gonna get the Glimmer Cape, there's the Winter's Curse. This aisle is done as Garter is just manhandling him. Maybe not, Glimmer Cape came through I believe. Come with me, might still be alive here somehow. They will still lose uh, Cheshire Cat, and now Garter's going to fall next as well. And uh, Boogie forces himself forward, rather, and gets this uh, Fire Blast along with the Ignite to come out. And Air will find himself a double kill, which will mean Roshan can be cleaned up. But it looks like they're just having a beeline straight either towards yeah, right. Sanya Straight or down mid. Yeah. These guys die like men at least, you know? They just die fighting. That's they know thing. that if they don't uh, try, you know, they're going to lose the game. They go in. They really do. Getting team with some of the going to have that kind of bad team. Oh my god, everyone dies in like three hits. This OD pick was pretty insane. It was like their fifth pick, he wasn't. Yeah. This worked out pretty well for him, I'd say, that. Yeah, I would say so too. They're killing their throne right now. Usually a good sign. Um, even with, uh, you know, Jakiro and Ogre not having the best lane phase, didn't matter. You know, they got their experience. Once they're grouped up, they're powerful.